Hello guys, welcome. In this tutorial, we will know how to create a such complex model in SketchUp. Okay, so here I have created this three models separately and then I have combined it to make it perfect complex 3D model. So here I have pressed C and type 8 for octagon. Now here I'm drawing octagon shape. Now here we will use artisan tool guys. Okay, so select face insert option and click over the face and drag to take insert of the faces till at the middle part now we have to select and here we will use artisan push pull tool so here i have pushed one time second time and third time okay now next process we will use vertex tool so select the vertices and you have to manipulate it geometry step depends on you what kind of geometry you want to create okay Now for me this is done you have to make it in a group then here we have to use subd tool guys okay so here just click here on a subd tool now this is subdivided again click on a plus icon of subd tool to divide subdivide two times again i am clicking to subdivide three times okay now here guys you have to right click and select this option okay and then have to uh, need a quad face select the model and then click over at this option unsmooth quad faces okay now here you can see the all unsmooth quad faces here okay now here we have to go uh, just the bottom of this model and then just double click to go inside it okay now guys here you have to use artisan tool uh, loop option okay this loop tool will help you to create a loop line just perpendicular of the edges select this edges just like that select the faces and then here you have to use quad tool selection option so every connected face and lines will be selected right click make it in a group then you have to erase it okay just delete now next step is uh, now guys you have to go inside this model again select the single line and click over here of quad face tool to select all the line in a loop and here go to entity and know the length of this line okay so this is roughly a 27 feet i think so and here i am drawing rectangle okay now i am drawing rectangle okay and we need to scale it because the height is very high so just select and press s for a scale and drag it at top of this model now here guys uh, you need to make it in a group okay just make it in a group and draw our lines to connecting lines okay so here i am just clicking at this corner and this corner point of this model okay Again, you have to connect other side of corner by line tool, just like that. Then you have to select both line and make it in a group. Okay, now select three models and make it in a group. Now here we will use fluffy file tool. That is very difficult actually. So here just go on tool, select this option. Okay, now your uh, model now guys here we need to draw a rectangle okay so here i am pressing p and pushing it a little bit in a up. just like making a thickness okay here you have to select the vertices just like that and you have to move it with control over here and type slash 60 to copy 60 number of copies between two uh copy models okay here i am making it in a component now we need to uh just scale it just drag the upper portion so i am using a photo scale tool select this option then click over here 
and drag it like that okay okay guys now it's done now we need to copy so just press aim and then press control and move it over here then we will type x 50 or x60 to 60 number of copies depends on your model how much uh, num how numbers how many numbers you want to copy okay same thing i am doing with move with control and typing x 20 to 20 number of copy at this side okay now here guys you can see that all the models are copied perfectly now we need to uh, select all the copied model here then make it in a group okay just make it in a group so first you have to explode it actually and then make it in a group okay now guys here you have to draw a rectangle just of the same height and width of this model so here i'm drawing a rectangle here now here we will use a curic face knife tool okay so guys just select the group model and then double click over the rectangle to cut in rectangular shape okay now it's done guys our model is perfectly trimmed both side so here now finally we need to um, select uh, this uh, part and group model and then go to extension click on a fluffy file and select this option within a click your uh, model will be just fluffy file over selected models here you can see that how complex it is and it is done perfectly here okay so this is my first frame a structure are uh, created now we need to create a frame just opposite side okay so here we need to uh, select the model and here we will use a flip tool okay just flip in a red direction okay just like that again we will select both models now here we will use again fluffy file tool just like that and within a click it's again perfectly fluffy file okay now this time i have just created a uh, this rectangle a structure in a positive direction in the next step we need to draw a glass structure for that so okay here so i am drawing a line like that and copying it and just moving this upper part that side and you have to just copy it again using move tool Now guys we need to draw a glass part so here i am drawing a lines okay just creating a face over here now here again we will use artisan tool face inset option then just pushing it in a this direction and here we will just drawing a rectangle lines between this uh, face okay no just i am applying a material glass material over here just relating backward part okay now just make it in a component okay now it's done guys now here i need to copy it so i'm copying it x 50 number of copies or 20 number of copies depends on how model is now here i'm selecting all models and copying at this side by pressing aim and pressing control 
then type x and numbers to copy okay same thing just select all the class part and then press m and then press control and copy over here then type x and numbers to copy okay No, guys here you need to explode it okay so here i am just exploding it before that we need to trim it so okay here i am again drawing a rectangle just same bit and height of this rectangle okay and then just place over here then explode it and then you have to make it in a group now again we will use Curic face knife option, click over here, then double click over the rectangle face to cut the model. So just select the model group model, click over here and double click the face. Now our extra part of the model are trimmed. Again, we will use fluffy white tool. So select all models. Now here you can see that very very complex model has been created in a SketchUp. Okay, so Flowey Phi tool have a very powerful ability to transform your simple model to complex one. Just you have to understand it how to use it. Okay, and if you have any questions regarding this video, you can comment in a comment section for help, and I'll there to help you guys. So you can follow this tutorial to make your complex one model. Uh, and for a rendering, I have used a Air for a SketchUp plugin, and just taking the snapshot, and we need to select the styles. So just clicking a snapshot of the SketchUp screen, then you have to click here to select the styles. Okay, so here I'm selecting the styles of building, then you have to just click over the create option okay i am selecting this type of styles okay now just click over the create option and within a couple of minutes it will create a stunning rendering image here you can see that uh, the result is very impressive this plugin is free to download but you, if you want to create an image you have to buy the credit okay